29-year-old Preston Davis Jr. is accused in a deadly shooting Sunday afternoon that left a Suffolk father dead. Davis was arrested on Wednesday after a police pursuit along Pitch Kettle Road. Police say during that chase, a woman jumped out of the moving car. He's also being charged with abducting her. We're now learning Davis has a lengthy criminal history. According to court documents, Davis signed a plea deal just two weeks ago that allowed him to be released back into the community. I spoke with attorney and former prosecutor Todd Stone, who's not connected to the case, about repeat offenders being offered plea deals. It really is more a function of the strength of the case and the evidence that a prosecutor has. A defense attorney is always going to try to get the lightest thing possible for his or her client. In 2021, court documents say he was charged with abduction, intimidation, and assault and battery. He accepted a plea deal and agreed to plead guilty to one misdemeanor offense of assault and battery against a woman. In one of the criminal complaints that there was a witness who observed this man uh, pulling a female by her hair into a car. Um, so it sounds like there was at least a witness available at the time. Davis's first felony conviction Conviction was back in 2016, a charge of receiving stolen goods. He was placed on supervised probation and avoided convictions for several years. But in 2020, Davis found himself in serious legal trouble. Suffolk police arrested him for a shooting on Nanceman Parkway in June of 2020, a case that was dismissed several months later. But while the case was pending, he was arrested for domestic violence. Davis took a plea agreement allowing him to plead guilty to one count of unlawful wounding. The question is, was that person available at the time of court? You know, could they get their hands on him and, and have him come testify in court? And if not, you know, the prosecutor could have been somewhat hamstrung in putting on a case and it might have forced the prosecutor to enter into a plea agreement that with something less than what they wanted. Davis was released in March of 2021. According to court documents, he had an unauthorized contact with the victim and tested positive for fentanyl. Davis was brought back to jail in January of 2022. Davis is currently being held without bond at the Tidewater Regional Jail. He is awaiting for his next trial. I'm Leandra Head, News 3. News 3 reached out to the Suffolk Commonwealth's attorney, Narendra, please to learn why Davis was allowed to be released on probation and pleas said the plea deal was signed due to issues with evidence in the case saying in part that quote, without witness cooperation, our choices become very limited. We have to determine if going to trial might result in a dismissal or proceed with a plea that will strive to hold the defendant accountable.